everybody it's Angela welcome back to my channel today I'm going to unbox my December 2022 so sampler box uh, subscription box from Fat Quarter Shop it is a monthly subscription and it's $24.95 a month plus shipping mine usually comes out to about $32 so excited i did look at the jolly jabber which is fat quarter shops blog to get a sneak peek for this month oh i don't know that this is what i thought it was but it says joy in the journey december 2022 because the let me look I'm pretty sure it said something about fishing. <clears throat> so if you want to get like a sneak peek of the monthly box, you can go to Jolly Jabber, which is Fat Quarter Shop's blog post. And every month they give a sneak peek. And I looked at it today because I knew this was coming. It says fishing to be your favorite, but this is joy in the journey. I'm intrigued. It is, it is the fabric line everyone was guessing. Okay, so with the monthly subscription on the other side of this page, are coupon codes and 30% off of this particular line which I'll show you in a second so 30% off their yards and pre-cuts for this line so that's pretty good and then you get a free Ulfa endurance blade with a $45 order I don't think Maybe you can use two promo codes at once. I didn't think you could, but had I known that the other day, I would have waited to place my order. I did order in some endurance blades on Amazon, but they're coming from the UK. <laughs> so they'll be here sometime next year. Okay. So that's how I'm going to get my product guide out. So they give you a little booklet really nice made booklet okay so the first thing we have is a alpha magnetic knife magnetic touch knife the handiest little knife in the world this alpha knife is just that small enough to fit into your project bag or sewing drawer and features a secure block lit a secure blade lock small and sleek it works perfectly to clip threads as well as open sew sampler packages you will we'll receive it in green or white i got the white one so it's just a little like exacto blade which is nice to open packages with okay that has a three dollar and 24 cent value Okay, the next thing is a magnetic pin caddy. I'm going to take it out of its box, which I have one, but I might, I think I might like, oh, it's really heavy. It's very heavy. This, show it to you. It's heavy. Must. How do you open it? Oh, look at that. As this little thing comes out, this must lift up also. Oh, 
what's the point of having this thing? Oh, <laughs> it does open up. Okay, it opens up this way. Let me put it. Oh. That's so weird. Because you put it in here, but you can't lift this up. Let's see what it says. This magnetic pin caddy is attractive in more ways than one. Fitted with a strong magnet, it's cute and useful to keep your pins in check next to your sewing machine. This adorable Aqua Notion also features a compartment for storing pins and is printed with the Fat Quarter Shop logo. Oh, so the pins go on here. So I have some pins over here. So the pins can go on this side. And then it, this is just a compartment for you to keep things. I put it on this and it sucked up all the ones off of my little one. So it's stronger. <clears throat> I like that. And I like... I like that it has like a little groove here for you to grab the pins so you don't get poked. I like that. I might use that. This is the one that I have. <clears throat> we shall see. All right. That had a $8.98 value. is this it says so sassy saying iron on labels oh my goodness there's all kinds of labels in here now they're reversed so you must iron from the back side Stitch, color, and paint these customizable iron-ons to give your handmade treasures the label it deserves. Perfect for adding more drama to family and friend get-togethers. Easy to use instructions and in basic embroidery stitches included. It has instructions on the inside. Pair the fabric first press the fabric smooth with an iron then fold in half across the width and crease it on the palm of your hand all along the fold now fold in half the other that's just to get the center to use the iron on transfer patterns in this book cut out your chosen pattern make sure to leave a quarter inch extra space around it use a dry iron set on high Though not so hot, it create, creates scorch marks, okay? With the fabric right side up, heat the fabric for four to five seconds, place the transfer wrong side up in position and press for 12 to 15 seconds. No, do not glide the iron across the fabric. Carefully lift the iron, holding the transfer in position at one side, carefully lift. Huh. And then you can use little fabric pens to color your little labels. But you have to be able to read it backwards in order to know what it says. <laughs> I guess you can turn it and read that side. I bled for this. That's funny. I could have been quilting something I like. Take a deep breath and lower your expectations. If you can see this label, you're looking too closely. Made with hashtag dollar sign per percentage. <laughs> Hand wash, cold, tumble dry. All kinds of funnies. Ha! Huh, that's neat. A hundred plus snarky designs. It's a $13 value. That's interesting. Then 
Oh, cute. Take it out of the packaging a little. Uh, I guess it would be considered a zipper. Oh, it's so cute. That's oh, so cute. A little zipper pull with scissors that are turquoise. Turquoise or top color. So cute. And a bonus item, a Ruby Star Society enamel zipper pull, $4.99 value. That's so cute. Oh, I have to put that on my crochet bag. Very cute. Then we have We get always get a block of the month for the Liss Quiltathon, Quilt Along, I guess. They give a block of the month. Um, this is by uh, Fig Tree and Company. I forget her name. Is it a handle on here? It says it on here. Uh, this is block number nine, the Bliss Quilt, designed by Joanna Figueroa. That's her name. So this is the, I'm going to show that to you, um, the basket design. I'm not going to do this because I just recently joined Sew Sampler subscription, so I wouldn't have all the blocks. <clears throat> Next is the Trailblazer quilt pattern. That's kind of cool. It measures 54 and a half by 54 and a half. There's another picture of it. Um, and we got a big reveal. Two Fisherman's Bend charm packs. Which I'm going to open up and show you. I probably won't do this pattern, but I will do, I will use this to make, I'll probably make something for my son because I did take a look at this line. This was the line everyone was guessing. Um, and now I'm getting fuzzies all over me. Uh, oh, quiet. Sorry, my dog. Look how cute. I think they're trout. They look like trout. I don't know what that fish is, but they look like trout. Aren't they cute? So we got two of those. This is birds. Again, it's called Fisherman's Bend Violet Craft. Must be by Violet Craft, Robert Kaufman Collection. So you got three of those birds in this kind of crazy hashtag kind of thing. Got two of those. I'm trying to think. I need one of those, you know, that stuff you put on your finger when you're trying to count money. That's pretty. Interesting that they have those little bees on it, little flowers with fish, but it's women who like fishing. <laughs> Look at these fish. Yeah, I'm going to have to make something for him. These aren't his colors, but my son loves to fish. That's a pretty purple, isn't it? Very pretty. We got two of those. And then we have a green. Two of those. And then oh, this is cute. It's kind of like honeycombs. Two of those. Here's a maroon bird. And 
And if anyone knows, what do ducks like to eat? Like, is it okay to give them bread? We got two of those fish. I only say that because where I live, there's like a walking path around a pond. And there used to be a bunch of these, they're called, they're invasive ducks, I guess. Um, but there's one that's been there for a long time and she has broken wing and she can't really go anywhere. And I'm just worried that she won't get enough to eat. So I want to know, like, if I give her bread, will that hurt her? And I only know it's a her because last year she had babies. And the babies and the dad are gone now. So she's all alone. And she, well, she hangs out with these two black ducks that are there. They seem to tolerate her. But all the other ones have left because they put up a sign you're not supposed to feed the ducks. But I feel like she needs to eat something. She can't go anywhere. Her wing doesn't work. This is pretty. So comment below if you know what ducks can eat. I'm sure there's bugs. I'm sure they eat bugs. Um, I'm sure she's eating something. She's still a good size. I just feel bad for her because she, she's all alone. Look at cute little fish. That's so funny. And that's the last. Uh -oh. So we got two two charm packs I got fuzzies all over me this cute pattern I'm not sure what, I think I have an idea what I would do with this because I would want to highlight the fish blocks the fish um, fabric so I have an idea of what I think I would do okay we, so we got that we have our block of the month. We have our So Sassy labels. We have our magnetic pin container, picky do. And our Alpha uh, little knifey thing. And our coupons, which I wish. Because I could have used this promo because I certainly spent more than $45 the other day. See, this is how they get you. So they get you this cute thing. And then you have to go and buy more fabric because you need backing that matches. Right? So 30% off is pretty good if you want to get matching back, uh, backing. So what'd you think? I liked it. I love the fabric. It's so cute. Love the coupon. I'll use everything that came in it. Um, I might not use the sassy iron-ons. I don't know. I'm, I, I have my um, personalized labels that I use, but it might be cute to make, to find a couple and make maybe a pillow with the sayings on it. That would be kind of cute. Maybe a pillow cover. So that's all I got. I hope you have a great day. Um, have a Merry Christmas. I hope you get to sew. And I'll see you soon. Bye.